deals out here digging a hole. Here's where this old tree was. And we're going to replace it with another tree so we'll have shade in our yard. But it'll be a few years before it grows up. But it's one of my trees I air layered a few years ago. And uh, I got it out in the new food forest. And we decided to go ahead and bring it here. I'll have to trim it up because I was going to make it a bush. But um, I, I want it to be more tree-like here. So we'll have to trim it up. I'm glad to get it moved before it comes out. It's still cold here. So it's a good day to do it. This is the mulberry bush that I want to take around front it's getting tall but I, I was wanting to cut it down keep it just like a bush but we decided to go ahead and use this one it's got a good root system on it and I'll trim it up cut this side off maybe these forks here there won't be much left of it time I'll trim it but through the years it'll go back and get in shape. I'm glad that I have it. Here's a pecan tree here. I want to take it out in the front yard. I um, decided not to have it here because uh, it'll get so big and thick it would probably put too much shade in the garden. Now like uh, the willow shade is kind of dapple. So this will be moved too. We'll have to dig a hole for it. And I'm thankful for the, the rain because it's really made the soil easy to dig. And uh, get these two planted. You see, I'm out here filming and Bill's digging. So I need to talk a little bit more about this pecan tree. <laughs> I gotta go help him. Bill has got down to the cleachy. There's a layer and it's kind of like a light cement. We, we can bust through it though. And Bill's helping. He's going to take that to bust it. There's not too many places where New Mexico has good ground. This dark here is. Real good to make a brick. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Well, he dug this up. We're going to make it better. We are. And we are making it better. He dug this up. And I, he broke it, but it looks like a, a grinding, little grinding stone. We find him once in a while. That's too bad it went in one piece. There's something here. I got me some black rock. Made me an Indian design. Oh yeah? Kind of looks like white sand. You probably can hear how rough it is. Well, the new tree is going to go, oh, what did you put me in? But it should break through it. There it is up there. Yeah. Well, that only looked like a couple inches. You're getting back down to dirt. So that's good. i got to go help him get my shovel. This is your shovel. Oh. You want it? <laughs> if you must use you my shovel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm helping. Bill picked up some of that cleachy dirt. And uh right there. And we're gonna go fill some holes up with the chickens dug out. And that's going to be helpful because that's a heavy dirt. He's, he's getting through that cleachy. 
getting that dirt out of there so we don't have to put that bad dirt back in there we're digging this tree up Bill cut some of the limbs back we tied it up be easier to move and I think this got a pretty good rip ball <laughs> it's a mulberry tree <laughs> And why I like mulberry trees around there, because they're kind of like heat resistant. When that hot wind blows, they don't burn up hardly at all. Willows, they will get crispy because of hot wind, but these won't. Pretty good. And plus, I air layer this from a, a good mulberry tree that fruits a lot, and it should be just the same as that one. I like air layering. And the birds will have a lot of food. And he's getting it down there. I better help. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait a minute. I might want to talk some more about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Bill, he's got this tree moved. He cut the bottom branches and uh, I'm going to have to retrain it because I was training it for a bush and if I have to I'll tie it to the fence try to straighten them branches up it's funny how well you can train trees and this is young enough to you know get it fixed back up to a tree it's going to really put some shade out here one day and cool the front yard well, thank you for watching just gotta get some water now. Yeah. Well, we'll see ya. Giving it some water. You see how this is shaped bad because I had another side coming up like this. We took that off. So if I have to, I'll. You know, over here and tie it a little bit at a time to that fence and get that like that and this one pull it back over try to get some shape to this but I'm glad to have it now just give it a big old drink thanks for coming by <laughs>